Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. As you can see, COVID is over. My hair is nice and short again. I was able to go to the hairdresser, so I'm really happy about that. But I'm even happier about the new particle support that is available in DynamoDB, which is an amazing, amazing feature uh, that we now have available. So basically what you can do now is you can query straight out of the management console. It is a really, really cool thing to do. And all you need to do is you need to log into your AWS account where you have your table. I'm just gonna use this contest table that I usually use. I've just modified it a little bit. So if we look into the contest table and then we look at the items, uh, I've just modified it so that we have a user ID, a first name, a last login, last name, and a username. And I've put in a bunch of different people. Now, as you can see, there is no particle editor. So what you need to do is you need to click on the try the preview for the new console. And that drops you into a dashboard that looks pretty similar. You can click on tables, see the same thing uh, inside of the tables. You can click on the uh, items and you can see what's inside of this table but what you have in this one is a particle editor and this is where the magic will happen right so essentially this is what uh, you can do now is you can query uh, the uh, the uh, table so let's basically do a very simple select query right select uh, then we'll do a star and we'll say from uh, contest this is uh, this is my table we'll, we'll try to type correctly contest right and then we'll say where uh, well actually you know what let's do a select star from contest first and see what it returns right so basically this should return all the values here you can see there's a lot of people there's a lot of uuids here and then there's logins and we can see that some of them have logged in uh pretty recently uh, so let's do a, a last login uh, clause. So we'll do where um, last login, login, uh, and then equals, and then we're going to do um, 2021.03.30, uh, right? So that we see who logged in recently on this date, right? And this should give us a result with less users than before, right? Only the ones that actually logged in yesterday. As you can see, this is really, really similar to what you would do in a traditional relational database, right? Uh, and of course you can not only select uh, all, but you can say select username, right? Username from contest where last login is uh, this date, right? And let's see that if it, we run that one, then the items that will be returned will be just the username, right? However, um, sometimes I wanna do something more, like for example, select username, and then I wanna do first name, first name, or maybe first name and last name. Last name, first name, right? So this gives me the ability to do both of these. Where last login is this date, so we'll just do this one and you can see, oh, I have, uh, I only got last name for some reason. Yeah, cause uh, I did a typo. Last name, first name, run again. And you can see first name, last name, right? And now we see, oh, we have two, uh, two people with the same last name, Gary here, right? Norman and Irwin. All right, so what we can do is instead of last login, we can go for, um, last where last name equals and then we'll do gary here right and then boom uh and it should give us the two people that have the same last name right plenty of cool stuff that you can do now of course what you can also do is you can do insert update and delete statements and this is where it becomes fun so what we'll do is we'll say insert uh first let's just um Let's just query the table again. Uh, so select star from contest. Okay. There we go. Select star from contest. UUIDs. We see that we have 1 to 15. So we'll say, okay, um, now what we'll do is we'll say insert uh, into uh, contest. 
uh, will say a value. And now we need to do, now we need to do, actually we need to do uh, uh, squiggly brackets here, right? Curly brackets. And we need to do all the features that we'll, we had before. So what do we have? We got UUID, we got first name, last login, last name, and username, right? So let's do UUID. Let's say we're doing a new user. We'll do UUID, which will be 16, first name, last name, and then a username for that person, right? So UUID, right? Uh, that will um, equal uh, 16, right? And then we can say comma. This is standard JSON stuff, right? And then we'll say user, uh, user name, uh, and we'll, we'll uh, give them a username, um, Tom G, right? Comma, uh, first name, and then um, we'll give him a first name, Th Thomas, okay? Comma, um, last name, and then we'll give him a last name. Let's say he's a brother of Norm and, and the other guy, Gary, right? All right, so UUID is 16, username is Tom G, first name is Thomas, last name is Gary. And of course you would do this programmatically. You wouldn't be typing in, but you can type in, right? So I run this one and it should now run an error occur. The statement was well formed, can be processed. Unexpected token after a value. Yeah, value. All right, run again, right? And the command was entered successfully. So now all I need to do is say, um, select star from contest um, where uh, UUID uh, equals uh, 16, right? There we go, run that. A coin test, that's not gonna work. Contest is gonna be the right table, not coin test. There we go. UUID 16, first name is Thomas, Gary, last name, uh, username is Tom G. Now this person doesn't have a last login because they haven't logged in yet, right? So let's say on the login system, once they log in, I would have an update statement, right? Uh, and then of course I need to update the table, uh, the table contest, right? Uh, and I'll say set, and I need to set the attribute last login, right? And I say equals, and then the date 2021-0331, right? Where, uh, and then I'll say UUID, uh, I need to do double quotes for the field name equals single quotes 16, right? So uh, the UUID is 16 for Thomas Gary, right? Username is Tom G. Let's say my application knows these, right? So all I wanna do is now add the attribute uh, last login. And I'm gonna do last login for today, run, boom, and then uh, it won't return anything. So what I need to do is I need to do, uh, just do the whole select statement that I had before, right? Select from contest where UID 16. Um, I could have done that underneath, of course, and ran both together, right? And now I have UUID 16, Thomas, last login is 2021-0331, last name is Gary, and then username is Tom G, right? And then now I can also uh, delete a user, let's say user leaves, delete from uh, contest um, where, and this is the easiest to do with the keys, right? With the primary keys where UUID uh, equals 16, right? So uh, now that's gonna be the statement. Actually, you know what, I'm just gonna copy this I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do this. There we go. I'm gonna put the first statement to delete, right? And then select if there's a UUID uh, 16, I'm gonna run both and then I should get a, a, an empty result. Uh, unexpected token after expression. Uh, okay. So let's just do them separately. First run the delete. Uh, and now run the select statement to see if we have a UUID 16. Uh, and of course we don't have a UUID 16. Um, we can just do select star from contest to see 
what the status of our table is. And of course, we can see that there's no UUID uh, 16 anymore because I just ran a delete statement, of course. And that is a really cool thing. If you want to just move your application that's doing simple select, insert, update, and delete statements to DynamoDB, these are now super translatable from a traditional relational database uh, with Particle. And that is one of the beauty features of Particle support on DynamoDB. It is very much SQL-like, um, except for the actual values, like for example, the insert statement that we had um, requires you to, to do, you know, you know um, JSON key values, right? So for example, we had key values in JSON, you uh, start a squiggly bracket and you say UUID um, and then uh, colon and then the number 16 like that, right? So, so those are the only things that are really different, but still, this is really easy to, um, this is really easy to transition from. So, um, that, that's it for this one. Thank you very much. Do you let me know what you think about Particle on, on DynamoDB. Do you think that this is something you might see using in the future? Uh, do you think that it's as much of a game changer as I do? I think it is. I think it's a game changer. Uh, so please comment and let me know what you think. And um, yeah, uh, expect to see more of these nice uh, little tutorials in the future on my channel. So if you like it, do consider subscribing. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.